Boys, what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, man. Today, I know we just went over defense yesterday, but today we're going to be getting into some offense, man. We're going to be going over a full breakdown of the New York Jets playbook, which is probably going to be probably like the best playbook in the game for sure. Um, it's so many different offenses in this playbook, bro. We about to go over like three to four. I can't remember exactly. Much. It's like three to four formations I'm about to go over. I'm going to try to make it short and simple, as simple as possible for y'all to grasp and get. Bro, I've been breaking down defenses all day, literally using this playbook, bro. This is one of the best playbooks Madden has ever brought. And I mean, every single playbook in the game, in my opinion, is completely garbage compared to this playbook. Like, there's no playbook that compares to New York Jets playbook. When I first seen it, I was like, eh, I think it's all right. But now that I've got the hang of it and I've, like, learned the offense, bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. If you listen to this video... And you actually take the time to learn the offense, bro. There's no way you're going to be losing games, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not even trying to sound like that. The game just dropped two days ago. But I promise you, if you learn this offense, I wasn't going to be in this offense when I first dropped it. But if you learn this offense, bro, I promise you, nigga, I have been blown by everybody today, bro. The proof is in the pudding. Look at what I'm doing. Look at what I'm doing. Look at what I'm doing, bro. Look at my record. I am 22 and 0 right now. What the fuck? I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a pace to become the next full weight right now, bro. I have an O, and I don't see that O going anywhere, bro. But enough of me talking, man. We about to get straight into this video, man. I'm going to do a good deep dive. No more talking. Let's get into it. All right, so the first formation we're going to get into out of this playbook is going to be the new formation that's in this game. This formation is probably going to take over the entire game, like literally. Bunch Strong Offset is a very very tough offense now honestly my favorite play out of it right now is white trail white trail beats man it beats zone it's just a killer bro it, it is literally a killer it's been the key to my offense for real now right now for this tutorial i got the ball hats in the middle of the field um i felt like i didn't want to start on the right side or on the left side because in realistic scenarios in madden you're gonna be wherever you end up at when it comes to the half but this play works on so many different levels i mean if i ran in stock this is against a basic nickel 3-3 three, three, cover three it's just the valdez scanley pay attention to my x receiver He's going to come underneath that deep zone, that deep middle third, and that's going to be a completion pretty much 99% of the times. So that is the main route that I go to whenever I see a cover three. Either way, there's multiple other things that I can do. I like this little low read that I usually have with um, my receiver and Travis Kelsey. So you see I had to drag wide open, and I also had the trail right coming right behind it. Also, a lot of times against a good zone is I can make Kadarius Tony go for a go route, and that'll free up my corner route most time, and I'm going to call it. You see I got Valdez open, but I want to free up the corner route. And boom, that's just a dot right there. And that's going to work against cover three, cover two, cover four. You're going to have so many things open in the middle of the field. Going against man coverage, same thing. I mean, if I got enough time, I'm usually going to have Valdez Scanlon open when it comes to man coverage because he's so fast. He can usually get a good goal ball. Now, watch Kadarius Tony and Travis Kelsey. I love to run this route combination so much against man coverage. Kadarius would more than likely be open for a drag right there. He wasn't open. But this time, I actually have Travis Kelsey wide open. And just that time, I felt like my receivers didn't do a good job of getting open. So I'm gonna actually run that one more time. As you see right here, look at Kadarius Tony. I could have been through that. I'm gonna throw it to Travis Kelsey this time. And I see Sky Morris just not getting open on that post corner. His route running really is not that good. I think he's like a 73 overall receiver. So it depends on who you have out there that's gonna get open on that corner route. But nine times out of ten, Sky Moore would be open, especially if you have a good right receiver over there. Now, obviously, I got an RPO alert screen I can run out of here. I mean, you always wanna have a run play in your audibles and your adjustments. Now, the biggest thing I like to do with my offices is I'm kind of a hurry up guy. Like, I'm a hurry up and get to the line of scrimmage. Not even a hurry up all the time, because I really don't like to know huddle that much but i'm not going to take for everyone calling my plays and if i do an audible i'm gonna do it nice and fast where you can't make that many adjustments and i love that with this playbook so for instance i'm in bunch strong offset and bunch strong offset they do not have to play verticals and verticals is probably one of the best quick hike plays that you can think of so i'm gonna audible over to bunch and it's just gonna be a simple adjustment just like that all that's happening is my running back is going to the other side so i can get this off really quick if i want to do an inside slant to make my reads a little bit quicker sometimes i put a check on a wheel route but this time i'm gonna block them Travis Kelsey is going to be open. We are going against a cover three. And nine times out of ten, I'm going to have Travis Kelsey wide open. And I'm going to run it again and show y'all just one more time. This time, I'm going to leave Sky Moore on a post route. Because a lot of times, that post route, if you have the time, he would get across to, he would get across to the left side of the field and be open. But this time, I'm going to see if I got Pacheco. I could usually just hit Pacheco real quick. And that's an easy five to seven yard, nine times out of ten. A lot of times, if, if they don't have that curl flat playing very well, that's Micah High playing. And he has like a high 90 overall zone coverage. A lot of times, I can get that 
that play to go very, very far. In Audubon over to Bunch one more time, they have a deep corner play in the Jets playbook that I really like a lot. I'm going to send Kadarius Tony on the go route to hopefully free up that corner route by Sky Moore against a cover three zone. And I got Valdez Scanley going on that dig route, which sometimes I can get open, but that play just takes a long time. So I keep Travis Kelsey on a drag route just so he can be my check down just in case I don't have that much time. So I got Travis Kelsey right there. But this time, I'm actually hit Sky more right here. Boom. And that actually would have got way more open if he wasn't, for whatever reason, bumping into the slot cornerback. Now, we about to hop into another formation. Yes, another formation. Like I said, this offense will break down your opponent so hard. Like, how is your opponent going to keep up with all these formations, bro? Like, really think about it. If you know how to run this, it's, it's not, it's not going to happen. Right here, we're going to be running a simple PA crossers. This play is very 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 yeah like y'all know this play has been dominating for a long time that post route to Kadarius tony that b ride receiver is your main target that you're going to be looking for in this set and i like to put sky more on a flat route just because in case there's a curl flat or a hard flat on the left side between that slot ride receiver i mean that slot cornerback that slot we usually just stay over there with that flat and sometimes i can check it down to him if nothing else is open usually don't keep valdez scaling on that post route that post route doesn't really get open that much so i pretty much just do a dig route and it creates a nice high low read between valdez Valdez and Kadarius Tony. This has been something that's been going on for a long time in Madden. This play right here is amazing. And sometimes I want to send Travis Kelsey on the go route because it may free up that cornerback that's going to be playing the right side of the field. And I'm going to just call it right now and show y'all real quick. I got Patrick Mahomes, and you see how you see how that kind of freed him up. But Tredavious White is just such a high zone corner. He got over, he ended up getting over there. So be careful with somebody like Tredavious White. I got Patrick Mahomes so I can run over here and make it a little bit easier. Tredavious White is just so nice. Like, look at the way he's playing. And he's another high-ranked Bills cornerback, bro. Like, the Bills have the craziest secondary in the game. But coming back over the trips, there's so many things you can do. And I got the Chiefs for a reason because Patrick Mahomes, yes, he is the new Tom Brady. He is the only quarterback in the game with Hot Rod Master. So that will take this offense to the next level with the things you can do. Now, we get over into January and all the quarterbacks start getting Hot Rod Master. It's going to be vital because there's so many different things you can do with this playbook. Even if you're in CFM. A lot of times, every quarterback is going to have hot route mess. It's going to be so many things you can do. Like, for instance, with Travis Kelsey, I could put him on a post route. Now, if I put him on a post route, I usually don't want to have two routes crossing that high because it's going to take a long time for that to develop, and sometimes the pressure will get there faster. So I'm going to just put Kadarius Tony on a slant just so I can have an option to make that quick read even faster. And I'm going to put Valdez Scanley on a go route because I don't want that left side cornerback to be playing Travis Kelsey at all. I'm going to call it with the play fake steal. And you see Travis Kelsey ends up getting wide open, bro. Like, butt naked wide open. Now, I've been a lot of cover through this whole tutorial, but cover three is pretty much the main zone that you see when it comes to Madden. Sometimes you see cover four, like right now I'm in the cover four drop, just base. And I can run my stuff and still cook cover four. I mean, if y'all know, y'all know, bro. Like, cover three and cover four. If you can cook cover three, more than likely you're going to be able to cook cover four. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cover two, when it comes to stuff like this, same thing. Still going to be able to cook. A lot of the zone coverages is just going to get cooked by the these offenses that's just what it is and in man coverage you know you're gonna have to adjust and just do a lot of things just a little bit different like for instance if i was in the man coverage i'm gonna show you all this right now with patrick mahomes what i would do like i like this play right here curl combo but i'm gonna make my own play out of this you know i'm gonna do a post route to Kadarius tony do a drag route with travis kelsey and i'm gonna put pacheco on a um hb angle route and this is gonna be against man coverage and just watch how much how many options i really have bro like this time i didn't have that many options because i didn't put x on a go route like i was supposed to give it some more spaces so i couldn't give it to pacheco but you see i would have had two people open bro i end up giving it to Kadarius tony that's nasty but that's only if you're using hot route master and if you have the Chiefs, the Chiefs are a very much used team. So a lot of people will be doing this. It's crazy. I've already went over three formations. And I'm about to get into my fourth formation out of the same playbook, which is Gun Bunch Tight End. I like being in trips audible over the Gun Bunch Tight End. Like I said, I'm usually a quick hiker. So I can get these off really, really fast. And if I hop right into my Gun Bunch Tight End and I run in stock, I can run in stock if I want to, honestly. Like, And this is against a cover three. If I want to, I can run in stock for sure. Like you see right here, I got him wide open. He's going to be like Tredavious White is just kind of playing it a lot better because he's such a high ranked corner. But I still was able to get that off and I'm going to be able to get that off nine times out of ten. But coming back over to PA boot over, a lot of times I just put my tight end Travis Kelsey on the drag route just to have two easy check routes that I can go to. And also I'm going to be watching Sky more because he may be able to get open and running across those zones really fast. And let's just watch real quick. Like right now, 
boom, I got Sky Moore. And I saw that I had Kadarius Tony and also had Travis Kelsey on both drag routes. So I had three wide receivers open. I just had to make a decision real quick. And even going against man coverage, and I'm playing a good man coverage right here. I'm playing a man coverage with a, with a hook in the middle. It's pretty much going to be a user in the middle because a lot of times you're going to have user in the middle. So you're going to want to have at least two routes open and always want to have a check down. But against man coverage, this is still lethal. A lot of times I like to just do it the same way. Sometimes I put Kadarius Tony on a slant route just so he can get off a little bit better and put Travis Kelsey still on that in route. And just look how everything comes free. I see Kadarius Tony wide open, so I'm gonna just hit him real quick. And yeah, like like most of the times when I see man coverage, I'm gonna put that B wide receiver on a slant because I feel like they get just better separation on that. And going back over again, going back over the bunch tight end, I'm gonna show y'all against a cover. Uh, what is this I'm going against? Oh, this is against a cover for it. I'm gonna be going against. So let's say you know I'm tired of running my PA my PA boot over. You know I got a good opponent. He's figuring me out. He keeps seeing it over and over and over again. I keep this play right here X spot in my audibles. It has a really good post route by Sky Moore a lot of times I can get that open sometimes it's hard to get it open sometimes it's not and sometimes with Travis Kelsey I can put him on a post route but you're not gonna always have a apprentice or a hot route master so without that I would usually just put him on a deep in route and smart route the end route by pressing RB I can put Kadarius Tony on a drag sometimes I can put him on a slant usually gonna block my running back and it's gonna look just like this I'm pretty much have a really good read I'm gonna ask Sky Moore I know that for sure Sky Moore is wide open and also, I feel like I could have definitely made one of the reads to either Travis Kelsey or Kadarius Tony. I'm going to show y'all this one more time. You see, we're going to get a cover for I just want to see if I had Kadarius. Yeah, see, I got Kadarius wide open. I also got Sky Moore wide open. It, bro, the offense, bro, y'all saw the compilation clip that I put in the, in the beginning. I was, I'm breaking down literally everybody. I have not lost one game. Now, last but not least, we are going to be getting to our last formation, which is going to be tight offset tight end. The play we're going to be focusing on right now is PA shot seems a very, 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 very tough play. Last year, this play was completely OP, but this year it's not as bad as it was last year. But against like a cover two look, if somebody was to play cover two against this defense, I mean, you're absolutely done. I'm going to show you how it looks against cover two. I can make this quick read right here every single time if I want to. Cover two is like this play just opens up the field on a different level if I was to go against a cover two. And if you see somebody coming out in DB fire, you haven't ran this play the whole time, and you know they're going to run a stock DB fire with no inside. You're going to have this every single time. And just look at how many things is wide open. I mean, I can wait for Travis Kelsey if I want to. I could have freeformed that ball to the right side and threw it to uh, Kadarius Tony, Or I could have made a quick read to Valdez Scantlin just really fast. Against the cover three look, it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing, honestly. I'm going to have a very quick read I can make with Travis Kelsey. A lot of times, I'll take Sky Moore and put him on a drag ride just so I can have a check down just in case that pressure comes. Or if I need to just make a quick read in regard. You see, I got Travis Kelsey right there. I also could have had Kadarius Tony on a drag route. It's just this play is gonna open up the defense so much, bro. It's gonna open up the defense on a whole nother level. And right here, I'm gonna be going against a cover four. I mean, a cover four will stop those quick reads a lot because you got inside quarters right here. These safeties up top will usually play a lot better when it comes to hitting those seam routes across the middle of the field. So with a quarterback like Patrick Mahomes, if I have Patrick Mahomes, and like I said, when Mutt comes in CFM, I'm gonna take Sky Moore and put him on a hot route at corner post route, and that is gonna just kill the entire sideline, bro like pretty much everything like i'm gonna have two little baby post routes that i can hit that's beautiful work right there like that's gonna be open nine times out of ten and cover four cover two cover three it's gonna just fry and my favorite thing about tight honestly is the fact that you really cannot play man coverage against tight like if i see somebody blitzing heavy or I see somebody playing man i'm gonna go straight to tight i mean i like how compressed it is the two inside people between travis kelsey my, or whoever your tight end is and whoever your receiver is gonna be to the left right now i got valdez scanlon inside they cannot get pressed and it was like that last year it's the same thing this year they don't get pressed so they're going to run their routes a lot faster than anybody else would so just showing y'all real quick if somebody was to go an all-out blitz i would do a double slant get this off so fast the pressure is coming like crazy right there we end up getting boxed up a little bit luckily travis kelsey has his x factor so he was able to catch the ball but i just want to show y'all one more time what it would look like like right here we got valdez scanley with a little bit more separation and boom we got like a 50 yard pickup right there i mean that, that's excellent and another thing you can do if somebody comes out in that is i like to go to this bench play right here y'all have seen this play a million times i mean this play kills man coverage like crazy if somebody was blizzing heavy i love to go to this uh bench look i mean you got two post routes one of them is gonna break open most likely nine times out of ten right there travis because got boxed up but valdez scantling did not get boxed up and bro it's just gonna cook bro i have so many like i'm just showing y'all so many different counters you can do to so many different defenses bro 
Like it's so it's it's so many different things you can do in this offense, bro. Like this offense, the New York Jets playbook is gonna be it's gonna be everywhere, bro. But everybody not gonna be able to run it the same. Everybody gonna be running the same offense this year, but everybody's not gonna be able to run it the same. Everybody's not gonna be able to run it that well. Me personally, I feel like I run this offense very well. I mean, I feel like bunch tight trips. I know how to do it all. Like, dude. <laughs> It, I love it. I just went over five different formations between bunch, bunch strong, trips tight in, bunch tight in, and tight offset. So many different things you can do, man. Really hope y'all take this offense and just dominate this year. And if you do, please come back to this video and just leave a like. And if you feel good, just tell me. Tell me, tell me what this offense has done for you, bruh. Please, please come back and tell me, bruh. I love when y'all do that. Hey, man, if you like that video, make sure you leave a like button. Make sure you hit that sub button, man. We 22-0 and 0 in this offense right now. We looking to keep it going. Everything has been looking so beautiful in this New York Jets playbook. <sighs> I'm going to catch up, boys, man.